Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to actually set up Bulldozer. So when you go in Object Builder, your Bulldozer actually works. So when you want to view your own custom model or a model for any fact like that, you'll be able to go into Bulldozer and you'll actually be able to check out your model and see what it looks like, all that good stuff. So please do leave a like and a subscription if this did help you out. Also, if you do get stuck, Please make sure to join my Discord. There's so many people that can help you with all these problems, including me. Or you can leave a comment if you don't have Discord. Um, but that is that. We're going to jump right into it, and I'll see you in a minute. Now, what you'll need is you'll need Daisy Tools. Now, you used to go to Library, and then down here there'd be a drop-down menu, which used to go to Tools. But now, obviously, Steam's updated, and it's not the same. So, you go to Games, you go to Tools... And now you can scroll through here. You might be scrolling for 10 years, but I'm not. Here you go. You've got Daisy Tools. And obviously, there'll be an install button here or a launch button. For me, obviously, I've already got it installed, so I'm perfectly fine. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go to Tools Mount P Drive. Now, some of you guys, if you're coming straight onto this, you might not have a Daisy P Drive set up. So, I will have a card on the top of the screen right now. Please make sure to watch this. If you don't, then in the future, you're not going to be able to actually do anything with your model because it's not going to work. And then once you've done that, literally all that you do now is click Object Builder. So once you've got Object Builder open, what I want you to do is I want you to go to File, Import if you're starting a new object. So maybe you've just got an asset and you want to obviously import it. Or if you've got an existing P3D like I do, I want you to go File, Open going to double click that and as you can see the thing that highlights red is obviously your model so now what you need to do is you need to go to file options and once you get here your external viewer is basically your bulldozer you know how you would use in terrain builder now when you set this up you want to click on this and as you can see mine is already pre-set up but if it's not already set up, what I want you to do is obviously I want you to go to your Daisy root folder. So you only know what root folder yours is on. It could be on a C drive, a D drive, an E drive. Whatever your drive is, you know where it is. You've installed it on Steam. Then I want you to scroll down in the folder and find Daisy underscore x64.exe. Double click on that. And then at the end, in the description, I'll have this code. Once you've got that in, I literally want you to paste this code that I'm going to have in in the description in a paste bin I want you to paste this code into here make sure you clicked on external viewer and I've, at the bottom it will say value now you just literally press space here and then you'll place this code here once you've done that click OK and now you want to click on this red button start this might take up to a while depending on if you've got already got textures on it or how big your actual asset is. This isn't a really big asset, it's a cacti, so it's not gonna be that big, but we'll see you when we're in Bulldozer. Now, as you can see, my actual Bulldozer's loaded up. Now, I wanna actually get close to the object. Now, I know it's very hard to see from this distance, but literally all that you do is you hold right click and you move the mouse inwards like this. And as you can see, I've got my cacti. Yes, it's got a weird texture on it, but it's a cacti and your Bulldozer is working. Now, some of you guys might be saying at the moment, my bulldozer is actually lagging. And if that's the fact, then you see this icon up here. If you click that button there, your actual bulldozer should not be lagging and that should fix all the issues. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I do really appreciate it. If this did help you, please leave a like and a subscription. Like I said in the intro, please join my Discord. Thanks to Donald for actually helping me out with this. So we're a bit stuck myself. I'm brand new to Object Builder, but I thought I know how to set up Bulldozer, so I might as well share at least a bit of knowledge that I do have with you guys on, obviously, this topic. That's what I'm here for. Everything that I know, I'm going to tell you so you can also make your own assets. But please join my Discord, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.